<coughs> in the previous video, uh, we saw how we can replace a function call, a function basically, uh, with uh, what we call a lambda function. So this a lambda expression. So we have the lambda and then uh, uh, the parameter and whatever it uh, returns. So what is really uh, lambda? Lambda uh, in Python. Uh, in Lambda is a way, is a tool to create uh, anonymous, simple anonymous functions in uh, uh, in Python. So you know that, um, and let's let's have an example. So you know that you can create a function uh, like double by saying def and then the name of the function, the parameter list, and whatever um, it does, and you call return, and you can have all kind of operations here. Lambda. On the other hand, uh, when, it, when we define lambda as we used it in map, uh, it doesn't need to have a, it can't have and doesn't need to have a name associated with it. So in the map example, we just had lambda and uh, the expression in, the, uh, in there. Uh, in this example, what I'm showing is that actually, even though lambda itself is an, uh, it creates an anonymous function, we can assign it to any name. In this case, I am assigning it to the name double. And then immediately it, it can be used as a function because lambda, what lambda returns, is a real function in Python. So uh, after this operation, uh, the DBL here and the double do exactly the same. They can both uh, multiply uh, their input by two. So if I call it with, with number three, number three in most cases it uh, does uh, it returns six. Now, of course. I would probably not write anything like this because it's clearer if we are defining it as a function. So the real use is in Lambda is in cases like we had in a map and in other tools, but it's easier to show Lambda this way because uh, this way I don't have to uh, use, we don't have to learn about all the other features like map and other, all the other, other tools. So instead of that, that's why I'm showing it this way, that we can t use the lambda and assign it to some name, and then it's just a function. The other key point of uh, lambda, besides that I don't have, don't give a name to it, like uh, in, in the definition of the function, that uh, it can only have a single expression inside. So unlike a real function, a fun or a named function, let's, uh, let's uh, call it, where you can have multiple statements inside, and then you can call return also multiple times uh, in various cases. Uh, in a lambda function or lambda expression, you only have an expression. You don't need um, return. You don't call return because it immediately it returns it, uh, exactly what this uh, expression, the result of this expression. Uh, a lambda uh, expression, a lambda function can uh, return a single uh, number, a single value like that. But it also can return something else, for example, a tuple. So in this example, you will see that this lambda uh, ret uh, returns, instead of returning uh, the doubling of the value, it returns a tuple that contains the original number and uh, the, uh, the twice uh, uh, and the number twice uh, multiplied uh, by two. So in this case, if I call dbl12, uh, the return is going to be 12 and 24 because that's the result. So as you can see, the return value of this can be also anything, any any value. In this case, it was a, a tuple. So we can use, in that case, we can use it in map as well, right? Uh, so we have map, and then we have this lambda function. We give it a list of numbers. It get it returns a, an iterable, right? It returns a map object that if we iterate over, then it will return pairs. Okay, so remember, this still returns an iterable, an, a map object, not, a, not the list itself. Okay, lambda can also get more than one parameter. So in the first example, we only get one parameter. In this example, lambda will, is expecting two parameters, and then it, it adds them together. So, uh, and again, uh, for simplicity, I assign it to some name, and then I use that name. Okay, so we can have that example without map and without uh, anything else. Okay, so how can you do uh, use uh, something like this in a map? Map actually uh, can accept not just two but more parameters. Okay, the first one 
is going to be a function and then the subsequent ones or at least one are going to be uh, iterables um, let's say two lists okay and uh, the number of parameters in the function is uh, needs to be the same as the number of uh, parameters that coming after lambda the number of iterables okay and what uh, in this case not map uh, map does it takes one element from each one of these uh, lists is one of these iterables and then uh, uh, calls the lambda function with those values so it will call lambda with uh, one and two then with three and six then with five and four and then with nine and eight and what the lambda in this case returns is the sum of them so the sums is going to be again a map object but if i flatten it using the list then i'm going to get uh, the numbers the original numbers okay and uh, just uh, so you, you can see i have this other example that i could use actually the plus operator on the two lists and but then what i get back instead of uh, adding them um, uh, item wise that some might expect and then something that like that happens in numpy but in regular python lists uh, what will happen is that it will add one the list of values after the one list after the other so the result of adding with plus plus will result result in this uh, v3 which is just going to be this longer list so not uh, what you were expecting okay so this looks fun but what happens if the one of the list is longer than the other and here uh, python 2 and python 3 differ uh, so in this example you'll see uh, that it returns just the four elements because in python 3 uh, the the way this works that it will stop the iteration stop the map, map function um, when the shorter list the shortest of all of these uh, lists of all of these iterables uh, is exhausted so when uh, the shortest is ends basically right uh, and then again here we have two but you can have more uh, of these values and um, in python 2 it would return none uh, it would go to the longest one and would return none uh, instead of all the others so let's just uh, have a look at uh, what happens in python 2 in case you are again a historian uh, or you need to deal with some code in python 2 or you need to convert some python 2 code so in this case it ha I had two of these lists and then uh, python uh, uh, 2 re uh, returns none so i had this uh, slightly more complex expression saying that uh, if either of them in this case if um, if um, x uh, is none then uh, it will return zero instead so this is just replacing uh, uh, nones with zeros because um, if i do the where is the oper the plus operation right so as we had in earlier uh, and one of the items is none then we get an exception uh, so you can uh, this way you can set a default value for the va uh, for the places where one of the list is shorter than the other one okay 